Hey guys, it's Jasmine Elizabeth and I'm here with another tutorial. Um, I love these twists. These are by far my favorite. They are lighter than the braids and I am digging them. I don't know what to call them. I guess they're Senegalese twists, but I feel like they're passion twists with regular braiding hair. Okay, so how I part my hair. I part it, I do a little braid and then I crochet the braiding hair in the braid <laughs> and then once I get that loop it's there and then I am going to take the hair with the braid with my real hair and I'm going to pull it through that loop and this is going to create a really 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 tight secure knot and I feel like this doesn't give you a bulky um, not appearance at the top um, and so it is a little difficult at first it may take you a couple tries to get it but make sure that you're closing the crochet needle and making sure that all the hair is in there okay I'm about to start twisting and as you know you're gonna twist I am very bad at explaining this part but did you see how I crossed over twist crossed over twists and you want to make sure that you have an equal amount of hair for the both parts that you're twisting. You want to make sure that you're not um, changing up your pattern, your speed, and how tight or loose you're twisting it. You want to keep it at a, um, a steady rate. And this is how you create like this flawless look. Um, you're going to want to twist every time you go down. And if you have any flyaway hairs... You want to make sure that you use um, the jam that's over there that I used. So basically, I'm already at the top. Huh, no, I wish this was real lifetime. But anyways, um, I just parted as I went. And then, you know, you just twist and go down, twist and go down. And you want to make sure that you're doing it the same throughout each twist. You know, nothing bothers me more than million different twists on one single head so make sure you're doing it the same way each time you twist and make sure that um you take your time when you're doing those knots so that it can give you a flawless and a seamless look what else can i talk about okay so uh all the things that you need for it to create this look is a crochet needle i use the cute pre-switch girl I use the cute pre stretched, the cute pre stretched braiding hair, twenty eight inch uh, inches. I used almost all four packs, um, and then like if you mess up the crochet, sometimes you lose a little bit of hair, gets a little knotted. So make sure that you have like an extra pack. So total, I have four, and um, I had some left over. Um, I used the jam in the orange. <laughs> In the orange container that you get at your local beauty supply it's like extra hold jam um <laughs> i got that and what else make sure you i don't know make sure you get something for those edges you want to make sure your edges are laid um your fingers kidding no, that's fine um what else did i use this is a very low maintenance oh snap guys i didn't tell you about the end the ends of the uh twist okay so i did the knot right you you should know how to do this you pull one side of the twist and then you make a little knot and then um towards the end i got some those those cold perm rods the really small ones um and then I wrapped it up and then I used the hot water and then bam, I got curly ends. And so at first I wanted to get like, you know, the free trust water wave hair and then um, have the ends curly. But really, guys, you can make those curls yourself. And so I just got my normal braiding hair like this is my go to braiding hair. And I'm like, this is clutch. It's going to work for me. And then I curl my ends and bam, I got everything that I wanted. So the reason why I get my twist also so long is I offset the hair. So you already know that from my previous videos. If you've been watching, like you should. 
<laughs> and so, um, yeah, I'm pretty much at the top now. I definitely, definitely love this look. And these twists are very light. Like, usually the braids are very heavy. You know what I'm saying? So, this is definitely good for me and you guys. And I hope that you can follow it and be able to complete this look. Um, let me know if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns. Leave them below. Um, and I love to help you and answer you in any way that I can. And try to do this, guys, because once you keep doing it, practice makes perfect. It's not as easy as it looks with the crochet needle. It was definitely hard for me because it's my first time using it. I am always use a different method, um, but I decided to try this um, because I wanted the twist directly from my roots to the ends instead of having that little braid at the top and then twisting it down. I wanted to just see the full twist effect. So that's what I did and that's how it got done. Hmm, is there anything else? you guys should know about that can help you i hope that you can follow along and you're able to see what i'm doing um hmm. okay okay so i'm back <laughs> no um usually i don't talk the whole video and i always play like some music but i guess i'll talk this whole video since it's almost over um so update on my life I've got COVID. Wait, did I say I've got COVID? I have got COVID. No, I got COVID. I have COVID. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's been definitely a journey for me. My whole family has COVID. And um, I am doing better, obviously. I'm making a YouTube video. Um, but it was definitely hard for me in the beginning few days. But anyways, I feel good now that I'm up doing my hair, doing something, looking like a human being. Um, and I'm getting ready for nursing school to start back next week. And yeah, hopefully this style lasts me and I know how to sleep at night and not roll around like a, hmm, what can I compare myself to when I'm sleeping? I don't know. <laughs> Rolling around like a beaver and I don't know. And ma making my hair all messy and stuff. I really want it to last me at least a month. So like, how do you get this to last you a whole month? I mean, of course it can last you a whole month. But like, I want it to look fresh every day. But I guess that's like in a perfect world. But anyways... I really, 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 really like this twist. And if I see one hair out of place, I think I'll go crazy. So, I guess I'm going to keep something on my head at all times until I'm seen in public. But yeah, I love these twists. Um, I like the passion twist hair, but I don't know. It's something about the bulkiness. It's like, it's pretty, but it's like bulky and like guess I'm looking for like this sleek look this sleek clean flat look but of course I want my hair to you know the roots to get all kind of messy I think I'll, I'll like how it looks better when it gets a little bit matted at the top and you know it's got that natural look going and also I want to big chop my hair I want to cut my hair off and I want to start over because I always straighten my hair. And I feel like I definitely don't even show my curls. And I think I want to start this natural hair journey over. Because I definitely ruined that. So, maybe, I don't know. I want to cut my hair off. But yeah, stay tuned towards the end so that you can see. Oh, you saw the ends in the beginning because I put the end of the video in the front so that you guys can get a sneak peek. Sneaky peeky peeky. I mean, here we go. Here it is. Here it is. Here it T-I is. You see, I got those little perm rods 
in that um, previous video. And then I am loving it. You see how the ends turned out? Like, that's all I wanted was a little curl. I didn't want too much. Ain't too much to ask, huh? Get you a little curl at the end. Huh? Huh? Serve. Yes. 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 <laughs> yes. All right.